Is a life estate deed a good way to protect your house from Medicaid? Using a life estate deed is a common practice that's sometimes employed to protect the house from Medicaid. The idea being that the person who is receiving the life estate, or what's called the possessory tenant, um, has a right to live in that property as long as they live without having an ownership interest in the property. You typically see this in circumstances where a parent decides to leave the house to their children and reserve the life estate for themselves so that the kids now own the home, but they get to live in it. The effect on the children is they own the house, but they can't sell it without the consent of the person who reserves the life estate. There are problems with that, however. When you do that, the children who now have inherited that house as a result of the transfer do not get a step up in basis when you pass away. So simply speaking, if you've owned the house for 50 years and you bought it for $25,000 and now it's worth a million and you've transferred that house to your kids, your, the, your cost basis for your children is still $25,000. So when you die, your children have inherited that house at the value of $25,000. So if they go to sell it now at a million, they will pay capital gains on $975,000. About a third of that will go to the government. So by putting it into a life estate, you have not done anything other than protect yourself, but you've left your children completely exposed to the tax man. That's why there are better options. An irrevocable trust and some other planning methods are certainly a better, preferable way where we can preserve that basis and provide for a step up in basis to your children upon your demise so that this way they don't have to pay those capital gains taxes and you can be protected from Medicaid. So talk to us about a Medicaid asset protection trust as a preferable way to preserve your house and your home as opposed to a life estate deed.